All right, what I'm showing right here is the idea that we're gonna be doing a lot of time working on these AP CSP 2021 scoring guidelines. Go ahead and open those up. Uh, if you have not taken a look yet, uh, basically they look like this. We're only looking at the reporting category and the scoring category, all right? Once you finish your quiz, you can go back to looking at this too, all right? Okay, I think everyone is pretty much here, I hope. Today we have a quiz on parameters and returns. We're gonna be working on the create task learning. What is it all about? We will be reviewing exemplars, which are uh, people's projects that were done in years past and have been uh, commented on. Ah, there's someone. We're desperate to get more people. And Vera, perfect. I just need my friend Nikolai and Daniel. All right, uh, so what is due today is your rock, paper, scissors app. Uh, I believe that is the U7L4 app, uh, your binary fairy tales. There's Eric. Welcome, Eric. Uh, so we do have a quiz. We'll be doing, there's Daniel. We're only missing Nikolai. Okay, what is due is your rock, paper, scissors app and your binary fairy tale, which should be kind of fun, and an exit card today. Don't worry, the exit card is just asking what you wanna learn about the AP process. What do you not know? Uh, there will be a create task quiz next week, a week from now. Our goal or objective is that you will be able to investigate three exemplars for the create task by comparing how you would score them versus how an AP grader would score them. I'm going to go through the lesson a little bit because you're going to be able to work on it after you're done with your quiz. Okay. Welcome, Floria. Uh, all right, so if I continue here, one, it, you're gonna, it says distribute the, the scoring guidelines for the AP task instructions. That's what I told you to open up. So when you're done with your quiz, you can keep reading these scoring guidelines. All right, you're gonna read the scoring guidelines and task instructions. You're gonna focus on the first two columns, reporting category and scoring criteria. Uh, we'll, we'll dive into the decision rules later. Just get familiar with these documents. After reading, discuss what will you actually be turning into the college board? What are you hoping will become more clear after looking at exam example projects? Okay, so just so everyone knows, these are right here in your module. Here is the quiz. Here's the presentation. This is the scoring guidelines. Some of these are just words. So this is telling you work on your own to explore the scoring guidelines after taking the quiz. Look over the written response sample after watching the video in class first. Apparently you can't make the videos work. Just a note, get the annotated written response from code.org, U8 lesson one and compare it with your scoring. Just so you know, in code.org, unit eight, lesson one, all these documents live here. The AP uh, you know, task instructions, the scoring guidelines, video sample one, video sample two, video sample three, the written or sample one, written response, two written response, three. These are the annotated ones, sample one, two, and three annotated. I have put them in your module to make your life easier. They are right here if you wanna to get to them. Here are the last two written response questions and here is your exit card. All right, I believe everyone knows exactly what they are up to. Let's do our quiz. So quiz password is 
PR quiz, lowercase, PR quiz, parameters and returns. Okay, let me know if you are having any problem getting into your quiz. I will monitor it. I'm gonna stop sharing because I'm continuously sharing the answers. I am a bad elf. Okay, is everyone on board? We are doing our parameters and returns quiz. The password is PR quiz lowercase. Anybody having a problem getting in? I can see you in the quiz. So I see a bunch of people are not going in. If you do not go into your quiz, I can't give it to you again. Wait, it's still loading for me. Okay. There's Nikolai. Nikolai, we're taking our quiz. It's top of the module. Parameters and return quiz. The password is PR quiz. Just lowercase PR quiz. Okay. Hi, Daphne, we're taking a quiz. Uh, it's at the top of the module. Password is PR quiz. Okay. Let me quickly show you right where it is in the module. Okay, for any, any of our latecomers, if you didn't see it, the quiz is right here, U5 parameters and returns quiz, right in the top of today's module, okay?
You okay, Daphne? You got that? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Remember, if you're done, start looking at that AP scoring guide. Or even go ahead if you're done with that and go to your answer one. Not the annotated answer one, the answer one. Okay, I'm gonna start moving ahead. I think we still have a couple people working on their quiz, the latecomers. Don't worry, I'm just gonna be going over the instructions. Okay, so after the quiz, we're gonna be looking at our scoring guidelines, task instructions. Read the scoring guidelines and task instructions for the, for the scoring guidelines. You can focus on only the first two columns for now, reporting category and scoring criteria. We'll dive into the decision rules later. Let's get familiar with these documents. What will you actually be turning in to the college board? What are you hoping will become more clear after looking at example projects? Okay, we are gonna be doing this first one as a group. Uh, we are not gonna be in breakout rooms. So we're gonna be using the chat to put these ideas up there. 
Does anyone know what we will actually be turning in to the AP? Anybody? All right, well, let me give you a hint. You will need to submit a video showing your program's main functionality, including the input and output, a PDF of your program code, and a PDF of your written response. The reason you always turn things in for a big exam like this as a PDF is so that no one can change your work. No, no one can go in and modify what you gave them unless they have Acrobat Pro. But I don't think the AP will be doing that. The idea is with a Word doc, somebody might dink it by mistake, but that won't happen with a PDF. Does everyone understand how they will be videoing their app? I'll be showing you a couple of videos, uh, but you want to make sure that you understand how to video your app. All right, so before we get into the next activity, can someone tell me what will we be turning into the college board? A video of us looking, um, like going over our program of using our program, a PDF of our code and a PDF of our written response. Thank you so much, Lily, you are the best. Okay, what are you, all of you, hoping will become more clear after looking at example projects. Is there anything you're worried about? Anything in particular you're hoping to learn? How to pass the AP. We can leave it at that. Okay, let's, let's continue on. Uh, what is going to happen with these is you are actually gonna be turning in your projects a little early for the AP deadline because we, your teachers, are going to just check them over. We cannot fix anything in your problem, but we can make sure that the files are good and not corrupted. Apparently that has been a problem a couple times, particularly with the videos, I think, that the video did not play properly. So we are gonna get you to submit your things, then we're gonna make sure they are all working perfectly before we submit them to the AP. Okay. Today, we will be looking at three programs that were submitted for the CREATE task and how they were scored. We will review the first program as a class. Then we will investigate the other two programs in breakout rooms. Pay attention to what does and does not score points. Look at the working, look at the working used so that your CREATE task, including the written response, will get a point for each row. Okay, here is the fabulous video. So what does this app do? You tell it how many letters you want the, the thing long and what letter to start with, right? How many letters in the word and what letter to start with. And it is filtering some giant list. Okay, I want everyone to open up, create PT sample one and read the written response. Okay, then we are gonna ask you, did anything surprise you in looking at this sample? Do you think this written response scored well based on what you know about the scoring guidelines? Okay, let me give you five minutes for that. So 156, all right? You're just gonna go into your module, not that, and you're going, hey. You're gonna look up written response number one right here, okay? Go through that for the next five. Okay, Daniel, if you just got back in, we're reading through written response number one in your module. So right here, written response number one. Open that up 
and take a look. You got another three minutes. Okay, we're going to continue on. If you're not taking your exam, you are not recording your video and sending it to the college board. You will be making an app though. Uh, that was somebody, some people asked last time too. You know, basically, all you're saving yourself from not doing the exam is the pain of doing the exam. We're still gonna to need to make our apps. The app will be graded. It's the only thing that's graded in that second part of you know, that interim, um, just about. Okay, let's go to the, so in the chat, did, any, did anything surprise you in looking at this sample? Do you think this scored well based on the scoring guidelines? Somebody needs to be brave. Why don't we start out with the simple one? Do you think this app scored well? From looking at the app and from seeing... Okay, so somebody's saying in 3B, it asked for two program segments, but only one was given. No. Anybody else? ideas on whether this did well or not. This is what this is all about. This is all about you learning how to write a good response, all right? So if nobody has any idea whether that's a good or bad response, I, you know, it's gonna be really tough to take your AP. Uh, Andrew says, I think it scored well because all the explanations were pretty clear. Uh, I think it scored decently well. It seemed to be detailed. Okay. Um, so just, is there anything that surprised you in looking at this example? Anybody? Let's look at the annotated ones. I think the amp, amp would score well, but they didn't provide enough of an ex explanation for the written part. All right, let's see what the AP says. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the annotated version, all right? So here we are, you're gonna get the Create PT annotated sample. If I go back here into my module, uh, so annotated answer one. Take a look at this for a couple minutes, all right?
So with your partner, look over this annotated version of the sample to see how each row of the scoring guidelines was applied. You should be reading specifically to answer any of the questions you had about the task earlier. Uh, like somebody had the idea that they'd only put in uh, one program segment. How did that get scored? Uh, so in 3B, it asked for two program segments, but it only gave one. See what happens in there. What characteristics of this response made it score so well? What parts confused you? What questions do you still have about the scoring guidelines or task description? Okay, let's start thinking you can keep reading. After looking it over, we will discuss what characteristics of this response made it score so well. What parts confused you? What questions do you still have about scoring guidelines or task descriptions? Anybody? I think we've gone over pretty well what characteristics of this response made it score so well. Uh, let, me, let me just review in the chat. Um, I think that score well because the explanations were clear, because it seemed to be detailed. Uh, see, Lily felt that they scored well, but that they didn't give enough explanation. That is one of the things that really surprised people in one of my classes was how short an answer can be. Things like, what, you know, what is the functionality of your app? All it needs to be is just a description of what it does. This is an app to help you find words for your crossword puzzle. This is an app to entertain you with statistics on basketball. That's all you need. Summer thinks it was nice because it was so concise. It was very precise. Uh, any parts of that this answer confuse you or ways that they are scoring that are confusing you? Any questions on what the scoring lines are or how you interpret your task description? Okay, all I can say is you wanna keep it as simple and precise as you can. A lot of times things like when people are asked, how does their list reduce complexity in their program? They really don't know what it is asking and they just start writing. And they just start writing whatever comes to mind in terms of complexity. Easy things for complexity. One, that your list is acting as an abstraction for information. They love that word abstraction. A list is one item but it is representing a large amount of information. If you could not use a list, you would have to use a lot of variables to hold all the same information and you would have to access them one at a time. Lots of variables becomes a lot of lines of code and gets very messy very quickly, all right? Anybody else? What characteristics made this score so well? What parts confused you? What questions do you still have? Any questions? All right, we're gonna be working on another two of these, all right? So have no fear. All right, here are the apps. This is app two. That is 
not my mouse on it, that is their mouse. The answers do not seem to be mouse driven. It seems like once it starts, it just goes along. All right, I'm gonna start it once more right now. Okay, let's look at the next one. This is sa sample three, everyone's favorite, the random dog picker. So they are clicking medium, small or large and getting different. They don't seem to be random. We seem to be getting the same ones, all right? So once we've looked at that, now we're gonna, we need to get out our written response sample two and written response sample three and the annotated sample two and the annotated sample three. The idea is to read the original and then figure out so with your partner, look at these samples. You can pick which to look at first, whether you wanna work on three or two. As you review this task with a partner, ask yourself, where and how specifically did this fall short? Was there one major problem that caused ripple effects through the scoring? Or were there several smaller issues? Try and point out specific aspects of the scoring guidelines or submission requirements. Uh, go back to the Create PT annotated sample two with a partner. Discuss how you could rewrite response to 3B in order to earn the point. So let's just do the regular stuff. I will try and cue you in the breakout rooms to look at 3B towards the end. We've got about 20 minutes, 20 plus minutes to work on this, all right? So it's a good chunk of time. All right, the wrap up is just our exit card. Just so you know, our exit card is just the number one piece of advice you have for the Create PT task, one gotcha to look out for, one question you'd still like answered about the Create PT. That is all the exit card is, all right? So let me make our breakout rooms. All right, here we go. All right, it is 2.05. We will come out right around 2.25, 2.26 or so. Okay, rooms are open.
You're muted, Mr. Swift. I was just saying, if you want to start working on your exit card, that's fine. We've got five minutes left in class. People are still coming out of breakout rooms. And I'm muted. Love that everyone tells me. Thank you so much. There is nothing sadder than chatting away and nobody hears you. Okay, everyone is back. All righty. I know we don't seem to be the most talkative today, but I wanted to ask you, let's go back here. So can someone tell me where the Magic 8-Ball app fell short or where one of these fell short that you were able to recognize in the comments? What was going on in these ones that weren't perfect? It's saying where and how specifically did it fall short? Where was one problem that caused ripple effects? Or was there one problem? Or were there several smaller issues? What do we think? What was going on here? Was it a bunch of little stuff, something big that messed it up? Anyone? Um, I feel like for the written response that for the magic April, they didn't really, I mean, I know you're not supposed to like over explain, but I feel like they didn't explain enough. It was very, um, it wasn't very descriptive. Right. Uh, as far as I can tell, all the magic eight ball is doing is indexing, that it is not filtering or mapping or it's just generating, you know, you start the app, it goes down the list generating answers, right? Um, anybody else, any other thoughts? Try to point out specific aspects of the scoring guidelines or submission requirements. So that idea of specificity that you need to be identifying what needs to be you know, talked about, uh, keep that in mind, all right? So did anyone come up with a way to rewrite 3B in order to earn the point? Uh, when one of the responses didn't state the name of the list, they lost two points. You gotta be careful. Uh, what was going on in 3B that needed to be fixed? It's everyone's favorite. We've talked about it before. Complexity. It said that they did not get their point because they were too vague. Same thing it sounds like with the Magic 8 Ball about what would happen. They said, gee, my program would get longer if it, had, if it didn't have a list. They said that was inadequate. They need to hear you know, things like a list in is, ab is an abstraction for information. If I needed to present all the information in my list without the list, I would need to be writing, you know, lots of lines, extra lines of code for all the variables that I would need. You know, my list could have thousands of items in it. That one with all the names for the naming app, um, that would be a thousand more lines of code. Be specific, okay? All right, I think we're in a pretty good place. Uh, just everyone for the next two minutes, can you just do your exit card? Uh, the number one piece of advice you have for the Create PT, what's something you've learned that you would like to tell someone else? You'll be specific. Uh, what's one gotcha to look out for? What have you seen in these that is really niggly? Okay, one question that you'd still like answered about the Create PT.
We've got one minute left for our new finish time of 2.30. So the reason that we're ending at 2.30 now and starting at 12.20 after lunch is because we're back in the building. I'm in the building. Uh, the buses need to leave at 2.40, so they have to stop class at 2.30 so that people can make their buses. Thank you everyone for making it in for the quiz. We're done. Woohoo! All right. Great day. That's a lot of information we went over. You now have all this information. You know, if you're interested in reading about the, the, the task, go look in that unit eight level one. So first thing in there is a whole description of what the build task is gonna be. Um, great day. I think this is an excellent way for everyone to get really understanding what you need to be putting into your written responses. As I say, when I grade them, I have a hundred responses to go through. Sometimes it's late at night. I might not tick off every single problem, but here you're seeing how to clearly answer these questions. Clearly and concisely is what is gonna win the day. Go on, I, I haven't even heard everyone running away. Goodbye, we're done. Thank you. Bye. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You bet. I just had a quick question. Um, sure. On Thursday, I'm going to miss class. So could you just make sure that um, it's recorded and posted so I can rewatch it? Absolutely. Do you have the um, the uh, playlist? Um, no. Here, let me just give it to you right now. I'll put it in the chat and you can open it up and then just copy it out. Uh, ooh, why aren't I seeing it? It's in the mod, it's in like uh, announcements, I'm pretty sure, but I just figured this will be a lot easier. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so we have in YouTube a playlist and it has every single lecture by date. So tomorrow's lecture should be right on top once I post it, okay? Okay, that's so helpful. Um, this is what we want, here we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Why aren't you doing what you're supposed to? There. Okay. Try clicking on that and it should open up a window. For some reason, you can't copy off the chat. Um, it's loading. Okay, it worked perfectly. Okay, so now if you just copy that URL out of your window, that is always the YouTube list for our class. Okay, perfect. Thank cool. you so Thanks much. for the heads up. And don't forget, Summer, you need to let the absence secretary know. I am not the person who cares at all if you are absent. All I do is mark down who's missing every day. Mm -hmm. It's the office that says who's been excused. Okay, got it. A lot of people don't know that. So I just want to make sure that that. All right. Okay, thank you. Have a good week. Have Bye. a great day.